One of the challenges along this healing process, really any sort of self-growth process, is our ability to stay connected to the reality of our strength and our capacity to really create the changes, the life that we ultimately want to have. So today I'm going to walk you through a little practice to help you reconnect to the truth of everything that lies within you. Welcome, I'm Peggy Oliveira. Thank you for joining me. So um, I have just only talked before about some of that struggle and I think it's always helpful to have a reminder that that struggle is not only real and you're not crazy, but that it is a natural part of the process. You will not be able to continue to heal if you don't have moments where that's going to happen. And I'm not going to get into all of the whys. I've done videos on that before, but it is a very natural part of the process. And on days where things are feeling a little bit more difficult, just generally, it becomes quite easy often to completely lose any sort of connection to the idea that you have any strength whatsoever or any capacity at all to get to where you want to be. So if you don't have time to engage um, in a really present way with this, make sure to save it so you can come back. And you might want to save it anyway because it might be something you come back to periodically. Um, and if you're doing some other things, even just listening, there might be some subtle things that sink in that might be helpful. But definitely try to do this at some point when you have the ability to really be present with it. So if it feels comfortable to you, I'm going to be asking you to get really comfortable, allow your body to relax, and to potentially close your eyes. You don't have to, but ideally you might be able to do those things just to help you connect a little bit more internally. And you might even be able to do a little visualization. I know when I'm doing like a guided meditation or something, I have difficulty focusing enough to do the visualization part, even though I'm a very visual person. Um, so if you don't do the visualization, that's perfectly okay. But if you are somebody who can visualize, there might be some things in here that might be helpful. If you're not going to close your eyes, that's okay. Just see if you can maybe allow yourself to gaze out at something, um, kind of focusing on that thing. So trying not to look around a whole lot, just allowing your gaze to settle and be focused on whatever that thing is. So um, ideally you'll be sitting, um, certainly you could lie down as well, um, but lying or sitting on something that you can feel comfortable, where you can allow your body to relax where you can really feel supported. So just first notice your breath. Just simply notice the inhalation and the exhalation. Sometimes it's amazing how just paying attention to that for a few seconds can really shift something, especially when your mind has been really preoccupied with something. So just giving yourself a few quick moments to notice the inhalation and exhalation. And then whatever you're sitting or lying on, just see if you can allow your body to sink in a bit more. And that's likely going to happen by allowing, allowing your muscles, particularly around your hips, maybe your lower back, your thighs to release a little bit and continuing to inhale and exhale feeling those muscles release a little bit so that you can sink in a little bit further and now noticing your shoulders allowing them to release kind of melt down we often tend to hold our shoulders forward a lot and up. And if we can be mindful of just allowing them to just relax, to sink down, 
to move back, allowing your hips to release a little bit more, allowing your thighs to relax. And now if it feels comfortable, maybe close your eyes. Still noticing the inhalation and the exhalation. If paying attention to your breathing brings up anything for you, you don't necessarily have to pay attention to your breathing. Just make sure that you are breathing. It's very natural, especially if you're stressed, to breathe very shallowly or breathe um, like an inhale and then hold it for quite a long time. And that creates more stress in your nerv nervous system. So with your eyes closed, just kind of gazing out in front of you, your body a little bit more relaxed. You can just kind of listen and try to take in. I know there will be some things that I say that you might find very easy to come up with a yeah, but, or think that I'm not talking about you, that if I really knew you, I wouldn't believe what I'm saying about you. And you're here watching this. So truly, I feel pretty confident that whoever might be listening to this right now, I feel like I probably do know you pretty well. There's some things that I automatically know about you. And that's all I need to know to be able to believe that what I'm saying is true for you. So you don't necessarily need to identify any of the specific things that you hold on to that you see as evidence of your lack of strength or your lack of ability to get to where you are. Just try to allow yourself to take this in. Your strength allowed you to survive. It's what got you to the point that you are in your life now. Even if where you are is not where you ultimately want to be. Even if there are times when every day seems like a struggle. Maybe even days when you feel like there's no way you're going to get through another day. But you're here now listening to this which means that on those days you got through it and your strength is what did that. Resilience and perseverance, all of that is part of your strength that is inherent within you and it has always been there. You are stronger than you may ever fully realize. And such an amazing thing to consider is that that strength existed within you as a child. And every day you have built upon that. I'd like you to take a moment and consider maybe it's something in the very recent past maybe it's something from a while ago but a time when you really weren't sure how you were going to get through it and maybe it was a moment in time on a particular day or maybe it was a really difficult horrific situation but you really didn't think you could do it. You really didn't think that you had what you needed to be able to survive it, to get through it, to be okay. 
Yet, here you are. And I know that the idea of what okay means may be different on different days, but you survived, you got through that experience, that time period, when you weren't sure that you could, maybe even when you absolutely believed that you couldn't. And here you are, still working on healing. Here you are, still choosing every day to get through it, to work on healing. Weak people can't do that. And even if there are days or weeks or even months when you put healing to the side, when you feel like you're spiraling and going into a place that you might never be able to get out of, the fact that you are listening to this right now, the fact that you have been in those periods before and are here with me right now, proves it is absolute evidence that you have the strength, you have the capacity, you have the courage to continue on this journey and get to where you want to be. Your capacity for creating the life that you want exists already within you. It always has. You maybe haven't been able to see it, to trust it, to feel it, but it doesn't mean that it isn't there. Every day that you continue to get up, to work toward healing in some even small way, that is a win. And it's something to feel good about. I also hope that you know that even on days when you feel so alone in the world, you are not. Just in our community alone, there are so many people who are going to listen to this and be able to relate, and they're going to have similar feelings as they listen, similar thoughts, similar yeah buts. You are not alone. I know it feels like it some days. I know that there may be people in your life that you'd like to be able to count on who have let you down. But that doesn't make what I am saying to you less true. And as you continue to heal, you will create more space to bring, to bring people into your life who you feel safe enough to connect with, who can support you. And all of that, everything that you need to create that is already within you. And so much of this healing process, so much of this healing process is you being able to connect to that reality. So I'd like to encourage you to just take a few moments to continue to stay in the position that you're in, continue to breathe, inhaling and exhaling. Notice how you're breathing. And if it feels comfortable, maybe take a really nice, full, deep breath in. And then as you exhale, slowly, maybe exhaling a count longer than the inhalation. And notice what feels present for you in your body. 
any sensations? Are your muscles relaxed? Are you feeling tension anywhere? Don't judge, just notice. And just take a few more rounds of breath, inhaling and exhaling. And if you feel like you've lost any sort of connection to your body, just see if you can really try to notice something that's happening. Notice the temperature of your skin, noticing any sensations, noticing the weight of your body on the surface below you. It's also okay to notice any thoughts, reactions, rebuttals to anything that I've shared. Again, don't judge, don't try to answer them, just noticing them. And whatever contrary voice came in, whatever the yeah but might be, just acknowledge it. I hear you. But it doesn't make it true. I hear you, but I'm open to believing something different. I hear you, and I deserve to feel the truth of my strength and my capacity. I hear you, but I am working towards trusting that it's safe to let you go. Letting that voice know that you don't need to be protected in the way that it tries to protect you. Allowing space for the truth to settle in your heart and in your body. So stay with us for as long as you like. Just continuing to breathe gently but fully, taking it in. And when you're ready, just kind of maybe gently wiggle your fingers, your toes, bringing sensation back coming back into the present moment and gently kind of opening your eyes and just noticing what's in front of you, grounding back in to the space and this time. And if you can, I would encourage you, whether it's right away, which might be ideal, um, or sometime soon to get a journal out or however you want to do it, but to allow yourself to just write and explore what this was like for you, what came up for you. There's no right or wrong way to do it, just allowing yourself to explore. And if you are working with somebody on healing, maybe consider bringing this to them, whatever comes up for you, what you write in your journal. This can be a healing practice that you incorporate fairly regularly. And some days it might feel really good. Some days it might, it might feel like there's a lot of resistance. And on those days, it might be really helpful to, because it's an indicator, it can help you really recognize what is going on. What, what am I feeling kind of vulnerable about? Because when we tend to feel resistance around something like this, there's often an aspect of vulnerability that is feeling present. And particularly if we aren't aware of what that is, recognizing that there's some vulnerability there can help you 
recognize it and move through it so that that vulnerability doesn't end up affecting you, impacting you in some other sort of way. So I hope you found this helpful. And if so, I do hope that it's something that you make sure to save and come back to again and again, because even on the days that feel like your worst possible days, that strength and capacity is always, always within you. Having a bad day, a week, or a month doesn't make it go away. It's still there. You're just not able to connect to the truth of it. But it's always there, waiting for you to remember. I would love to hear from you. Share whatever came up for you. Um, share if you thought it was helpful or not. I'd really love to hear from you what this experience was like. Um, I think we all need reminders at times of the truth of our strength and capacity to get through what we're going through to get to where we ultimately want to be. So I do hope that you found it helpful. Thanks so much for being here. Um, if you did find it helpful, maybe consider sharing it with somebody else. They might find it helpful too. I'll look forward to seeing you next time.